Catalina reform. Catalina has won right to statehood. And this is probably not going to go down very well. Guys, this is literally breaking news. So, strap in. Catalina leader Charles Benjamin, name on screen, says the region has won the right to statehood following Sunday's contentious reform, which was married by violence, predominantly on the police side. We'll do another video on that, though. He has said the door has been opened to an unlateral declaration of independence. Catalina officials said later 90% of those who voted backed for independence. The turnout was around 42.3% of the population. Hundreds of people were injured as Spanish police used force to try and block voting. The Spanish government has pledged to stop a reform that was declared illegal by the country's constitutional court. Police officers prevented some people from voting, probably why it was only 42.3%, and seized ballot papers and boxes at polling station, which also explains the 42.3%. With this day of hope and suffering, the citizens of Catalina have won the right to an independent state in the form of a republic, Mr. Benjamin said in a televised address flanked by other senior Catalina leaders. My government in the next few days will see the results of today's vote to the Catalina Parliament where the sovereignty of our people lies, so that it can act in accordance with the law of the referendum. He said the European Union can no longer continue to look the other way. In a development of the more than 40 trade unionists and Catalina associations called a region-wide strike on Tuesday due to the grave violence of rights and freedoms. Earlier this voting ended, Spanish Prime Minister Marino Joy, his name's on the screen, said Catalinas had been fooled into taking part in an illegal vote. He called it a mockery of democracy. Large crowds of independent supporters gathered in the centre of the regional capital Barcelona on Sunday evening, waving flags and singing the Catalina anthem. The Catalina government said that more than 800 people have been injured in clashes across the region. Those figures included people who had suffered relatively minor com complaints such as anxiety attacks. The figure I'm seeing is actually closer to 400 to 500 serious accounts, so that's obviously something there. The Spanish Interior Ministry has said 12 police officers have been hurt and 3 people arrested. It added that 92 polling stations had been closed, probably why it was only 47%. In Jornora, name on the screen, riot police smashed their way into a polling station where Mr. Pigament was due to vote and forcibly removed those inside. Mr. Pigament, might be mispronouncing, voted at another station. The BBC Tom Burbridge in Barcelona witnessed police being chased away from one polling booth after they had raided it. TV footage shows riot police using batons to beat a group of firefighters who were protecting crowds in Jorn Arena. Might be mispronouncing. The National Police and Garvinia Civil and Military Forces charged with police duties were sent into Catalina in large numbers to prevent the vote. The Catalina Police, the Mostel Estrella, no, it's on the screen, have been placed under Madrid's control. However, witnesses said they showed little inclination to use force on protesters. Um, I'm actually getting a different story about that, but we'll talk after. Barcelona Mayor Alan Ander Colet, a name on the screen, condemned police actions against the region's defenseless population but Spain's Deputy Prime Minister, Soraya Serin, a name's on the screen, said that police had acted with professionalism and in an appropriate way. Well, not what I heard, but we'll keep going. Catalina authorities said 319 out of the 2,300 polling stations across the region had been closed by police, while the Spanish government said that 92 stations had been closed. Bit of a difference in numbers, but we'll keep going. Since Friday, thousands of people have occupied schools and other buildings designated as polling stations in order to keep them open. Um, from what I heard, they also then started using force to get people out as well. 
Many of those inside were parents and with children who remained in the buildings after the end of lessons on Friday and bedded down in sleeping bags on gym mats. Catalina is a wealthy region of 7.5 million people in northeastern Spain. It had its own language and culture. It also has a high degree of autonomy, but it's not recognized as a separate nation under Spanish constitution. So what do I think about all this? Well, obviously, from what I heard, the, the reason why the police were attacking police and firemen and whatnot is basically there were two separate groups. There was the, the National Guard or the National Army that Spain has sent into Catalina. They were the ones that were trying to stop the voting process, while the local police force and fire brigade were protecting the voters and trying to keep the polling booths open. That's why in some situations you had the police attacking firefighters. It was basically the outside Spanish National Guard basically coming in and trying to force these polling stations to close while the local police and firefighters were protecting the voters. Um, now, also from what I also heard from Tim Pool, I'll put a link in the description below in his channel. He's actually over there at the moment. In his video, he also mentions that the, the National Guard, so the, the Spain police, also went into polling stations and dragged people out, kicking and screaming, so that they could close the polling stations down. So, like I said, there was also a lot of reports that the guns that they were using over there, the National Guard was using, were also rubber bullets. There was a lot of violence coming on from the national side, obviously because they were trying to disperse these voters. They didn't want this poll to go through, or this vote to go through, but unfortunately it has. Now, as for the actual vote itself, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like they said, Catalina is actually quite a wealthy area. So at the end of the day, that is most likely the main reason why Spain doesn't want it to dis to, to segregate. As for whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, look, I really don't know the dynamics of there enough to, to sort of make an informed decision. Obviously, I'm not keen on the whole police using force to, to shut down people's democratic right for a vote. I do obviously understand that obviously the vote was considered illegal because it wasn't a, a, a state called election. Look, it is a very complicated situation, and obviously this has ramifications for other countries and other states as well. For example, California or Texas. Do they separate away from the states or the United States of America, for example? So, you know, at the end of the day, it's obviously going to be very interesting. I can't imagine Spain taking this laying down. I imagine today, over in Spain, we will see a lot of guards and whatnot actually come in trying to disperse the voters, trying to disperse the celebrations, trying to get everything from Catalina back under under reform or back into control. Um, but that would be my suggestion as to what happens. We'll obviously just have to see. But at the end of the day, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing for Catalina and or Spain? Do you think that Spain is going to do now? What do you think they're going to do and what do you, what's going to happen? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.